thank you so much. Uh, I moved here a couple of years ago from Ireland, and uh, I love your Irish restaurants over here. They're so authentic, you know? <laughs> I'm a big fan of the quesadillas. <laughs> really just remind me of home, you know? I was in one of these restaurants not so long ago. I saw this on the menu. Irish nachos. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> While I'm at it, why don't I try some of that famous Canadian sushi? <laughs> Here's the thing, I like Irish food, I like Mexican food. Just advertise the place so I know what to expect, you know? Like, do you like stew and fajitas? Well, come on down to Taco Flanagan's. <laughs> Free tequila shot with your shepherd's pie. <laughs> I used to work at a bar in Manhattan, and one time I was serving this guy, and he said to me, uh, what's the least amount of wings I can get? Uh, none. <laughs> Do you want me to ring that up for you? I do comedy full time now. I travel around a lot and I've noticed some people over here feel very comfortable complaining to me about immigration <laughs> like I'm not also an immigrant. <laughs> Can you imagine how crazy I'd sound if I agreed with them? If I was just like, you know what? You're right. I'm tired of these people coming over here. Like I did. <laughs> They're trying to take the jobs that I'm also trying to take. <laughs> they never pay taxes. I'm assuming, because neither do I. <laughs> and the worst part about it, they're coming from countries with a history of terrorist organizations. <laughs> Just like the IRA. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. I've been uh, traveling around a lot, as I said, and uh, I love your airlines over here because they're all horrific. <laughs> it's like they had a meet one day where they're like, you know, if we're all terrible, they have to fly with one of us. <laughs> and in that meeting, they were like, hey, United, you've been doing awful well lately. Maybe take it back a notch. <laughs> United was like, on it, and just started tasing passengers. <laughs> right, left, and center. Oh, thank you. Then they moved on to the next airline, like, hey guys, we warned you. And they were like, roger that, and just started drop kicking puppies <laughs> off flights. <laughs> and then they were like, hey, spirit. Keep up the good work. Because <laughs> they are the mafia of the sky. <laughs> the last time I flew with Spirit, I showed up to the airport on a Monday and they were like, eh, how about Thursday? Because they're the ones who invented this low fares crap over here where they were like, how would you like to save $40? for the low, low cost of your dignity. <laughs> they have all these crazy stipulations. They're like, you don't get a carry-on, no snacks. Upon boarding the flight, the pilot gets to punch you in the nuts and call your father a coward. Oh, and in the event that we need to pull the evacuation slide, a first-class passenger gets to sit on your back <laughs> as they ride you to safety like a toboggan. <laughs> and every time I'm just like, well, if it'll save me $40. Although clearly I'm exaggerating there, guys, you know, because uh, spirit doesn't have first class. Uh, <laughs> first class on Spirit is just the seats where the oxygen masks actually come down. <laughs> but right before they do, a credit card machine just ascends from above. <laughs> like, how much you want your air, boy? 
And that is the end of my time. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Comedy.com uh-huh. On and on and on uh, And it's on and on and on